Hey guys, soup season is finally upon us, and of course, the best soups always start with great ingredients, which is why I am so thrilled to be teaming up with Campbell's to celebrate the oh-so-cozy arrival of autumn with three brand new soup recipes. Today, I'm going to show you an incredibly easy vegetarian noodle soup, a rich and hearty mushroom soup, and a super flavorful smoky corn chowder that your taste buds are going to go nuts for. Now let's get started with our vegetarian noodle soup. This tasty recipe is actually inspired by a classic Vietnamese pho, or pho, depending on how you prefer to pronounce it. A homemade pho broth can take hours to simmer and is a complex combination of flavors like oven roasted onion, ginger, cloves, and star anise. So today we're making our lives a little easier by using Campbell's new pho broth, which is made with natural flavors and also just happens to be totally vegetarian. So I've got my broth heating up in a large soup pot on the stove and to that I'm going to add some finely chopped green onion, a little bit of grated ginger and a splash of soy sauce. I'm going to bring that all to a light simmer and then I'm going to add my veggies. Today I'm using some julienne carrot, some thinly sliced mushrooms, and some baby bok choy. If you can't find bok choy at your supermarket, don't worry about it. You can also use some broccoli or some snow peas here, or even some baby spinach. That would work just as well. I'm also adding some flat rice noodles to this soup, and I'm just gonna let this all simmer away until the veggies and the noodles have softened up. Last but not least, I'm adding some cubes of tofu to my soup for a little extra protein. If you wanted to leave the tofu out, you absolutely could. Once that tofu is heated through, this soup is ready to be enjoyed. I like serving it with some fresh Thai basil, some sliced jalapeno, and some lime wedges. As you can see, this amazing soup comes together in a snap, which really makes it perfect for lunch and for dinner. Over the win! Or pho, depending oh. on how you prefer to pronounce it. <laughs> Next up is our hearty mushroom soup, which is rich and creamy and perfect for a cool autumn evening. In this recipe, I'm actually using Campbell's new mushroom broth, which is loaded with mushroom flavor and hints of Cabernet Sauvignon, thyme, rosemary, and bay leaves. Oh, so flavorful. This broth is also totally vegetarian, which makes this dish perfect for Meatless Monday. Once again, I've got my soup pot on the stove and I'm just gonna get started by melting a little bit of butter. Next, I'm going to add some thinly sliced onion and some thinly sliced mushrooms and cook those until they're nice and soft. To help my soup thicken up, I'm going to add a few tablespoons of flour and let that cook for a minute or so, stirring constantly. Then I'm going to add my mushroom broth, some milk, some freshly chopped dill, and a whole lot of paprika. That paprika is where this soup gets its nice red coloring from. I'm going to reduce my heat to medium and let this soup simmer away for 10 to 15 minutes or until all of those beautiful flavors have come together. Then I'm going to finish it off with a few good dollops of sour cream and some salt and pepper. I'm gonna stir this until that sour cream has been completely incorporated and this soup is ready to be enjoyed. I like topping it with a little more sour cream and some fresh dill. This soup is cozy and comforting and absolutely eats like a meal. Finally on today's soup extravaganza, I'm making an incredibly flavorful, sweet, spicy, and smoky corn chowder that I think you guys are going to love. For this recipe, I'm starting with some bacon. I've got three slices that I've just given a quick chop to, and I'm just going to cook the bacon in my soup pot until it's nice and crispy. Then using a slotted spoon, I'm going to remove the bacon from the pot and add some veggies. I'm adding some finely diced onion, red bell pepper, and celery. I'm going to cook these until they've softened up a little, and then I'm going to add some minced jalapeno and some finely chopped chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Now, both of these pack quite a bit of heat, but they also pack a lot of flavor. If you wanted to dial back the heat a little, not a problem at all, just use less pepper. Totally up to you. I'm gonna let all of that yumminess cook up for another 30 seconds or so, and then I'm going to add my diced potatoes, my corn kernels, my milk, and some chicken broth. In this case, I'm using Campbell's 30% less sodium broth, which is made with all natural flavors, and then I'm just gonna give this all a really good stir. I'm going to add my bacon back into my pot, bring this mixture to a simmer, and let it cook until those potatoes are nice and soft and cooked through. 
To help thicken my chowder up, I'm mixing some flour and some water, and then I'm just going to stir it into my soup. I'm going to let that cook for another three minutes or so, and this is ready to be enjoyed. I love topping it with some sour cream and some finely chopped green onion for good measure. You could also finish this off with some shredded cheddar cheese. That would be real good. Guys, I really hope you'll give these three super soup recipes a try. And if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo because of course I love seeing your kitchen creations. And for more great recipes just like these and more information on Campbell's broths, visit cookwithcampbells.ca. Finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.